Okay guys, welcome back. I want to make a short, quick video about the seed reservoir. So one of the things about red clover is that uh, you will build a seed reservoir in the soil that will aid you at different times. Uh, you will have volunteer clover coming. And so what, uh, where we're at, we're in the field uh, where I had the wheat, combined the wheat, showed you a video of that. Then I came back and I dist mowed uh, this field. Uh, I ran cows on it for a short while. Then I disc mowed the field and uh, that knocked back the annual weeds and the daughter. Uh, the destination for this field is red clover seed and hay next year. Uh, here we are, we're in the third week of October now. We had the light frost the other day. It just touched the clover, it didn't kill it. Uh, but I'm out here in this field, you know, it's anywhere from six to eight inches tall. Uh, sometime in the next week, I will let the cows out on this field one more time. Uh, but what I want to show you today is right down here in the clover. There's a brown head there, and there are several heads here that made it to the point of producing seed. And so right here in my hand with the beautiful sunlight on it. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, I just rubbed one of those brown heads. And so one of the cultural things about red clover uh, was that you wanted to build a seed reservoir on your farm. Uh, that helps you, you know, uh, after you've been doing this for a number of years, that seed reservoir uh, of hard seed will help you get good stands even in less than optimum conditions. And so uh, from the alfalfa video, you know that I love to remove the uh, alfalfa foliage that's necessary going into winter. So in the red clover field, when you're on hill ground, it's not near as important to remove the clover. Uh, there are not pests that bother the red clover, there are diseases that bother it. And so in low bottom ground, you would be hesitant to leave a lot of red clover growth going into winter. But on hill ground like this, there's no problem uh, leaving growth. Uh, the cows will come out here. I'm not doing that because of the red clover. I'm doing that because of my organic management system, which encourages me to keep the cows out on the farm eating, uh, you know, forages themselves as long as possible. Uh, you know, we could talk about the organic uh, grazing period, but to make a long story short, I attempt, and I'm usually successful, in that I keep my cows... Uh, out on the farm and grazing uh, eight to nine months of the year uh, that is my goal and so this clover will be used to do that uh, also when they're eating green clover like this uh, they will eat very uh, low quality hay but anyway this video is about the seed reservoir and building up a seed reservoir of red clover seed on your farm is a good thing so Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll talk to you later.